What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Chris back again with another video for you guys today. In this video, I want to talk about Thursday flipping. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but in my opinion, the market is going to go up a lot this week. If you take a look at where the market has been going recently, it's been flying the last few weeks. Why might that be? Well, we have a lot of people staying home now because of all this quarantining. And a lot more people are on the game. So when there's more people on the game, there's more demand for cards, especially meta cards. More and more people have been playing Weekend League. There's going to be a lot of people playing this Weekend League upcoming because of the extra red picks we're going to be getting. And I just think with the amount of packs that were ripped open on Friday and Saturday, the the week going forward, it the market's going to keep rising. So I'm making this video on the Tuesday night because I want to get this out to you guys before the market really starts to get high going into thursday i think there's going to be a window in the next six to ten hours when you're watching this video to probably buy some of these cards because once that happens like once everyone starts buying their stuff man it gets really really high so there's a lot of different looks you guys can take a look at for this thursday uh and there's different things i want to talk about as well in regards to the fun birthday team team of the week moments etc if you guys do enjoy this kind of video make sure you do drop a like while you're here and subscribe if you are new as well Let's get right into it. So we need to hop on to FUP in here. And we need to do a few things. We first want to talk about the FUP birthday team. This FUP birthday team, some of these cards are going to get packed more than others, right? Because rewards happen. People are asking me when is the best time to buy. I'll make this into a full-on video for tomorrow. But Thursday, it's looking like the buy time for these kind of cards. In my opinion, don't try to buy a player that might be in the same position as a card that may get packed during rewards this week. For example, maybe you stay clear of Bundesliga center backs around 200k budget because of this Lucas Hernandez card. Maybe you stay away from Serie A right wingers. Maybe you stay away from, you know, a Hamas Rodriguez scream card because that's a card that Munai would directly affect, a center attacking mid from La Liga. Maybe you stay away from those type of players. And I know I've given, you know, I've gotten Coleman. I have 21 Coleman's on my transfer list of cards that I'm, I'm going to be flipping next week. This Guerrero doesn't really affect this price just because I think Coleman is the better card with a better nationality. But in the case of Lucas Hernandez, people would probably use this card over Quebec. They would probably, Munai would probably be used over Hamas Rodriguez. And you guys get the point, right? Better nationalities, newer cards, etc. Talking about what do you want to buy for this week? And there's many different cards you can try to buy. My first thing with you guys is you guys need to go on this popular page on Fuppin. Any card that is no longer in packs, you need to take a quick look on. Why are these cards like good to look at? Because they are the most searched up on Fuppin. So these are cards that people are looking at their prices, thinking about, okay, do I buy them in my team? Maybe I wait till Thursday, etc. And you see them go up in price. Now, there's one card that he's out of packs right now. A couple cards actually are. Griezmann's gold cards out of packs. Hazard's gold cards out of packs. And so is Mbappe. Now, will this card go up this weekend? He's going to go up quite a bit. Not just to sell for Thursday, but he's going to probably go up a good amount on Friday. And because of all the, the lightning rounds that are going to get put up, he's going to go up even higher because the pack weight for a card like this, even if he gets put back into packs, is not going to be that high. So this card's going to go easy, easy 530 this weekend minimum. So maybe you get him around 490. It's more of a higher budget flip. You don't have to do him, but... It just shows you like him being out of packs and then the Friday lightning rounds coming. The market's going to go up a good amount Friday night, in my opinion. Griezmann's gold. Really, 55 56 is a great price. We've done this in the past and I've told you guys, a bombing before, sun before. Those kind of cards, when they're out of packs and people are wanting them for their teams, but their special cards are the only ones that are getting packed. That's what makes them rise a good amount. So look at Griezmann around 54 55k. Uh, and Golo Kante is always a good Thursday flipper. We always know this. 165 and under for Kante should hit about a 185-ish all the time. Him and Son. Last week was the first week where I actually did not see him go up that much. But I still am trusting the process on this card. 111, 112 for this card. I think he could still do well Thursday after awards. Um, so t keep an eye on that card. I did say Hazard as well. Um, if I look at Hazard really, really quickly here, what his price is, he should go up in price this week because of the FUP birthday being the only one in packs. He's about 122 at the moment, 
And if you look at his graph, right, he was actually 124 last Wednesday, which means that he's actually down from where he was before he went out of packs. That's a great thing for you. Now, it says 127 at a, at a max here. I actually might pick a few up right now because I think 120 for this card is a really good price. So definitely take a look at Aiden Hazard, Griezmann, those kind of gold cards. Conte is always a card that always rises uh, in price. Now, I don't know if Pogba's going to get in to uh, Fub Birthday Team 2, but it might be good to buy a few Pogba's. Maybe people buy more of him, expecting him to get one. Uh, same thing with Sun. You know, he had a Fub Birthday last year. Could happen as well. People will be buying their cards knowing that, okay, this card may get a Fub Birthday card. I'm going to buy him for my team because I don't want to pay extra uh, when he does go out of packs. Maybe they're thinking along those lines. Um, in terms of... Uh, some informs some team league moments. I actually really think this team league moments Alba will do really well this week The reason why I think so is because He's 97k at the moment. He also gets a strong link to Lucas Hernandez, which he's one of the lower Tier ones under 300k so you could see more people getting him in their in their rewards than than normal like obviously like a, a Griezmann or Rashford and Bob Bay Hazard, etc. So I could see Alaba getting paired up with this card as a strong link. I could really see this card doing really well this week. Um, and again, I'm going through the Fub Birthday. I'm going through a lot of these different cards, right? Um, I saw Valencia's uh, card here. So if you look at Valencia, that's a card that he actually went up quite a bit last week. Watch, watch this graph, guys. So this Libertadores knockout team, right? He's 131k at the moment. But look at this graph. Last Wednesday, March 25th, he went from 125. Average listing price all the way to 134. That's a lot of demand. That's a 9k increase on average listing price, which as you guys know, average listing price doesn't really show what he goes for max. He probably went to 140 on Thursday. So that's a card that in my opinion could do really well this week. I know Cancelo is in packs and stuff like that, but it's not going to affect every right back. I like I just said with with uh Cancelo. Maybe you don't look at right backs from from the Premier League because of that, right? That's what I was explaining earlier on. Um, in terms of everything else, like there are so many different things you can look at for this week. Um, you can expect these Team League moments from this week to start going up into next week. I think I'm going to dish out the Coleman's probably next Tuesday, next Wednesday-ish. Um, a full week as they're out of packs. Varane's, in, uh, Varane's goal always does well on Thursdays. 90k and under for this card. I bought like seven of him last week at... 85 he went all the way if you guys look right here 101 so you see this right here it says 97 on wednesday but there was some sort of pack supply i guess and i was getting them at 88 and then he went all the way to 101k so i would really really um focus on veron as a card you want to look at as well i know dejani's in packs but i think veron has that much appeal power where he's still gonna get um used in fifa um, is there anything else here that's really good to look at? A Marco Royce in form. Just look through a lot of the popular players on this page. Like, even a Wijnaldum, if he's the top 100 search player on the market, right? And if you look at his graph from today, he goes to a max of 75, like, two times, right? That means anything under 70k, if he goes to 80, if you get him at 67, 68, that's about 7 to 8k a card. That's what I would look at, like... Cards that are low on their fluctuation is what you should be looking at um, for today when not, yeah, I'm uploading this video and Wednesday before Thursday. If a card has a fluctuation of, I'm going to show you guys Royce's, right? If Royce's fluctuation on the day, he goes to 260, he goes to 258, and he goes to 262. That means three different times of the day, he's around 260. If I can get him anywhere under 250, around this 245 range... All he needs to do is go up 10k on Thursday, and I'm making about 15k a card. Because if you think about it, if he goes, if I buy him at 245 and he goes all the way to 270, 272, that's about you know 27k. That's about 15k a card right there. And that is what I try to preach to you guys um, with Thursday flipping. Again, as per usual, if you guys look for the icons, they're always gonna do well. Babies, middles, they're all gonna do really well. The ones that you guys should be specifically looking at, again, look at them at their lowest price of the day. Try your best to get them at their low point or around there. If a guy's going for 144 at their low point, but you get him at 147, it's fine because he may still go to 153 on the hourly, and then you could sell him for 160 the day after, which is still about 6K a card. 
So some of the baby ones that I like, Alan Shearer, 115 and under, should go 130. Um, Vieri, 106 and under, he goes to about 120, 125. Uh, I don't like the Inzaghi's, although it may go up a little bit. Uh, Rude Van Nistelrooy could go up a little bit. If you look at his graph, let's go take a look. Um, it's a little bit, if you look at, see, like, 100 here on Wednesday, it goes up to 103.7. It's about 4K on the average listing price, but, like I just said, it's not reflective of what they actually go for on the Thursday. So you are seeing a little bit of a rise on cards. Um, I like Trez. A card that went up a lot last Friday night, guys, was this Makalele. He went down to about 125K and went right back to 150. So this is a card that I think the people like to use. Uh, he does have a little bit of pace as an 86 at right wing um, for France. So I would look at him. Uh, Michael Owen, Henrik Larsson, um, Deco right here as well. Um, is that Deco? Wait, wait, no, I'm, I'm bugging. No, no, I'm bugging out. Hold on. Was that Deco? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, I just want to make sure. Um, Mark Overmars does really well. Um, anything else here? Pires will do well. If you look at the, the Owens... Um, Ian Wrights will do well, Paul Skulls, Ryan Giggs, any of these 100 to 150k icons do really well in price. So take a look at this list, this Lampard goes to 200 minimum, um, he's 180 right now, which is actually a good price. I wouldn't be surprised, because there's not going to be a pack SBC tomorrow, Wednesday, so I'm thinking like, if there's no pack SBC, that means there's going to be no supply coming on the market, icons will stay up a lot, or even go higher, into tomorrow, or into Thursday, sorry. If you look at his um, his Wednesday graph, he was 181 on the hourly, which means that you could have gotten him at 175, and you probably could have sold him by the Friday by 200. That's how crazy it is. So take a look at icons, take a look at some some informs, look at that popular page, even take a look at that Copa Libertadores team. You'd be surprised the Rojas, the uh, Valencia, those kind of players could do really well, um, in my opinion. Now, again, take a look at those gold cards, get them the forwards with hunters and make sure you get the defenders with shadows if you can get them with good um with just with good um chem styles i couldn't even explain what i was thinking but uh we're gonna go look at this lampard here uh and apparently i'm commu error communicating with ea servers uh as per usual in this game that's the one thing that i just can't stand but that really should be in terms of thursday flipping like the market's gonna go up a lot this week so anything that you buy in the next 24 hours that you're watching this video should do really well on thursday i don't understand why it would really go down or not go up at all um because i like maybe there's a little bit of panic thinking that there's going to be a guaranteed sbc coming but in my opinion they waited the second week for shapeshifters due to um due to them wanting to have every player available that they can lower the pack odds so for example they had i got i think kinds out of mine right so kinds you know he was really high on the pack weight they i got one from the previous week though i didn't get one from that second selection of players and that's what i think they're doing for the fub birthday because they know that they're gonna have to price the sbc at over 300k just because of the amount of good players they have uh in this first set and who knows that second set could be really good as well i'm gonna pay attention to this lampard and i'm gonna talk to i'm gonna See about some other cards that are on the market as well right now. I'll probably buy a couple Hazards, a couple Suns, a couple Conte, stuff like that. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video today. Um, like for more, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll talk to you guys in a video soon. Peace out.